news that matters. Fox 40 News at 5 starts now. He was a young teenager and a Mira Loma High School student. Deshaun Romans was killed in an early morning hit and run and witnesses say the driver kept going even with the teen still on the hood of the car. And now authorities are looking for that driver. Glad you're with us tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Harriman. Tonight, the family of that 14-year-old boy is asking for the public's help to figure out exactly how all of this happened. So here is where it happened. Watt Avenue and Whitney in the Arden Arcade area. And it happened just after 5 o'clock on Wednesday morning. Fox 40's Doug Johnson live near that crash site. Doug. Eric and Nikki, this is, of course, a very tough time for the family of that teenage boy, but they're hoping somebody will recognize the suspect vehicle, which you're about to see, and turn them in. Take a close look at the vehicle driving across the top of your screen. Neighbors tell us that's the van or SUV that hit a teenage boy early Wednesday morning. We heard somebody yelling, help me, help me. You just hit somebody. Stop, stop, stop. Thursday, that teen's mother reacting to the news her son is gone. Well, we thank everybody for all the support, you know, everybody reaching out, calls, texts, prayers. She thanks everybody. Kendra Dotson tells us the victim is her nephew, 14-year-old Deshaun Romans, a student at nearby Mira Loma High School. He was a very charismatic child, um, very funny, very outgoing, very popular. Deshaun's stepfather tells us he was riding a friend's bike that morning, which may have been too large for him, and that Deshaun was not wearing a helmet. Deshaun tried to pop a wheelie up onto the sidewalk when his stepfather says he fell backwards towards Watt Avenue. That's when the van or SUV struck him, but that vehicle did not stop. Continuing on with Deshaun on the hood, according to the California Highway Patrol. The only thing I can think of is that they were maybe um, a little inebriated. Um, whatever the case may be, I just wish they would come forward. The CHP says the driver quickly turned west into a neighborhood. Deshaun was thrown off the car and into a front yard. A neighbor provided Fox 40 with this surveillance video of that car taking off at high speeds. A neighbor told Fox 40 off camera it wasn't for another 20 minutes before police were able to find the teen's body. It's, it's shocking to the conscious that someone would hit another person, have that person come off their bicycle, be attached to their vehicle, drive away from the scene, uh, and then uh, dump the body on, on a lawn and, and do nothing to, to provide any care or any welfare for that person and just drive away. Thursday, CHP officers slow down traffic on Watt in order to search the roadway for evidence. Meanwhile, Dotson says her family hopes someone else saw that vehicle. We are at a loss for words right now. We have nothing. So if you've seen anything, if you know anything, heard anything, please step forward. Now there is a memorial out here at the scene. We're told by the family that there's going to be a candlelight vigil tonight at 8 o'clock, and they are encouraging anyone that wants to share their memories of Deshaun to come out and join them. Reporting live in Sacramento County tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you. Also